dear students today i am going to teach you how to find lcm hcf of these two very important questions two questions i am going to solve let's see and get benefit first of all question number 1 question number 1 i'll solve question number 1 it's solution solution let us say first of all first expression first expression we can write in some form exp only equals to x cube minus 8y cube this we can apply formula a cube minus this 2 means uh, 8 means 2 cube and y 2y whole cube we can write now we can apply the formula of a cube minus b cube formula of a cube minus b cube will be like this a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b a square plus ab plus b square this is the formula so a minus b means x minus 2y so x minus 2y another we can write like this a square is x square plus ab x dot 2y plus b square is 2y whole square this is equal to x minus 2y one factor another factor is x square plus 2xy plus 4y square 2 square is 4 y square so these are the two factors this we cannot factorize furthermore so we'll leave here only so this is our first expression now second expression second exp we can write equals to second expression is this one x to the power 4 x to the power 4 plus 4 x square y square plus 16 y to the power 4 this is our second expression this we can factorize as you have studied in class 9 this power 4 power 4 two terms in these two terms we will apply the formula of a square plus b square so x square whole square this one we can write as 4y square whole square plus this 4x square y square as it is this is equals to a square plus b square formula the formula is like this a square plus b square a square plus b square equals to a plus b whole square minus 2ab this formula we can apply so a square plus a plus b whole square a means a x square plus b is 4y square whole square minus 2 a means x square b means 4y square plus this as it is 4x square y square is added as it is this is equals to this x square plus 4y square we can keep whole square as it is minus 4 to the 8 x square y square plus 4x square y square so this can be written as x square plus 4y square whole square as it is. These two are like terms. 8x square y square, 4x square y square. One is minus, one is plus. So we can subtract. And the bigger one is minus. So we can have minus. 8 minus 4 is 4x square y square. It is again in the form of a square. So we can write like this. x square plus 4y square whole square as it is. Minus this is 2xy whole square. Now we can apply the formula of a square minus b square. So a square minus b square formula is like this. a square minus b square will be equal to a plus b times a minus b. This formula we can apply here. So if you use this formula, a plus b, a means this much, x square plus 4y square is a plus b is 2xy. One factor. Another a means again x square plus 4y square a then minus b is 2xy these are the two factors now from these two factors we will take out hcf and lcm so look at here the, from first expression we have got these two factors from second expression we have got these two factors yes these are the two factors now what is common in these two let's see x square plus 2xy plus 4y square here also x square plus 2xy plus 4y square these two are common term so our hcf is therefore hcf is equal to 
x square plus 2xy plus 4y square. This is our HCM. Now LCM, in LCM, first of all we write this HCF, x square plus 2xy plus 4y square and the term which is not common to both those also we have to take. For example, the x minus 2y which is not here, that also we have to write here x minus 2y and another term see this already common this is already common and this is also common this one is not common so this also we have to write here so this is x square minus 2xy plus 4y square so this is LCM to us so this is LCM and HCF in this way we can find LCM and HCF of the first question now second question is from second question I will solve in another page now the second question is 9m square minus 4m square. Let us write down here our second question. Let us begin from here. Question number 2 now. Question number 2. First expression. First expression. First expression is like this. 9m square minus 4m square minus 4mr minus r square. This much is there. <coughs> so, to factorize this, look at here. Here is mr. mr should be in between m and r. nr, it is nr, not mr. nr. nr should be in between n square and r square. So, now it's already there. So, if you take minus common in these three, it will be in formula. So, we can write this one as uh, 9m square as it is minus if you take common 4n square plus 4nr plus r square now this will be in the form of formula the formula is like this a plus b whole square formula look at it if you write a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square so a square this is in the form of a square 2ab this one and then b square this one we can break in that way so in first question here I will break and so and next time also we can write directly also. So 9m square as it is minus we will break like this 2n whole square plus 2 dot 2n dot r. 2 means 2 means formula is 2 this one 2 2 a means 2n b means r so that we can write here r square see look at here. So if you multiply this one 2 to the 4n r this is same term n square and then uh, r square this is 2n whole square 2 n square here. so this is in the form in the pattern of a square plus 2ab plus b square so we can write this this also in the form of a square 3m whole square we can write minus this is 2n minus r whole square we can write like this yes now a square minus b square formula again 3m a as previous formula a plus b is this one 2n minus r one factor is this one another factor 3m minus 2n minus r whole square so we can open this bracket multiplying by minus here mm, plus will multiply nothing will change 3m plus 2n minus r one factor another 3m minus 2n minus minus plus r these are the two factors now similarly second expression in second expression also we can factorize in the same way r square minus 4n square minus 9m square minus 12mn this is our second expression so here mn is there mn should be kept between m square and n square so let us do in the same way r square minus 4n square minus 12m n minus 9m square m square sorry okay r square as it is minus common here also 4n square minus minus plus 12m n plus 9m square this is equal to r square minus this we can write as 2n whole square plus 2 dot 2n dot 3m because here 3m square plus 3m 
whole square we can break like this this is equals to r square as it is minus this is 2m plus 3m whole square this is the formula sorry i made one mistake here this is plus plus and this is plus so this also plus we got here plus minus times plus is minus here this is minus one will be here similarly now a square minus b square formula we can apply here also a plus b is this much 2n plus 3m this one now a is r minus 2n see minus times plus minus minus times plus again minus 3m these are the two factors now similarly third expression let us solve third expression our question is like this 9m square plus 6m r plus r square minus 4n square it is already in arranged form no need to arrange because m r is in between m square and r square sometimes they may give this at the last so we have to bring here like here where we are arranging m n should be in between n square and m square n r here also see n r should be between n square and r square so here also m r in between m square and r square so this we can write like this 3 m whole square plus 2 dot 3 m dot r so 3 to the 6 m r plus r square minus 4 n square so this can be written as 3 m plus r whole square a plus b whole square minus this also can be written as 2 n whole square now again a square minus b square formula 3 m plus r plus 2 n one factor another 3 3 m plus r minus 2 n so these are the two values a plus b a minus b we are applying formula so these are the now we got three expression like this one is this one another is this one second one the third one is this one see here what is common to us now let us see here is here we have got 3m plus 2n plus r one this one see again here is 3m plus 2n plus r this also same if it is if sign is same whether it is in the front side or back side it will be same so similarly here also see 3m plus 2n plus r see all three we got same so our HCF here is therefore HCF is equals to 3m plus 2n plus r this is HCF now LCM therefore in case of LCM LCM will write this HCF first of all 3m plus 2n plus r as it is now remaining other factors look at here this one is not in these two but also we we'll write this one see this one see 3m minus 2n plus r one is this one this one is not here but also we'll write on this one on this one another this one see this this one look at it uh, r minus r minus 2n minus 3m this also we can write now another again see look at it this one it is not in another another so this also will write on this 3m minus 2n 3m minus 2n minus r this also will die so we have got all together four factors in the lcm and then the hcf we have got one only so in this way we can find the lcm and the hcf so thank you for watching the video you can subscribe me so that you can get other videos in future thank you